For today's video, we are going to answer another set of questions from Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2017 Elimination Round for Grade 9 and we are going to explain in details how to get the answer on each question. For number 1, find the value of C that will make 16x square minus 40x plus C a perfect square. So to make 16x square minus 40x plus C a perfect square, the discriminant should be equal to 0. So the formula for the discriminant, that is b square minus 4ac equals 0. And then the value of a is 16 and the value of b, that is negative 40, and c, that is equal to itself. And then to find or to make this expression as a perfect square, let us substitute this one to the given equation. Let us have negative 40 square minus 4 times the value of a which is 16 times c equals 0. Negative 40 multiplied by itself that is 1600. And then negative 4 multiplied by 16 that is negative 64 c equals 0. And then let us move negative 64 c to the side of 0. It will give us 1,600 equals positive 64c. And to find the value of c, let us divide the whole equation by 64. Let us cancel this one. So 1,600 divided by 64, that is 25. So this will be our answer. For number 2, Solve for x in 2 multiplied by the quantity of x squared plus 2 equals 5x plus 7. So to find the value of x, we are going to distribute 2 on x squared and 2. That is 2 times x squared, that is 2x squared. And then 2 times 2, that is 4. And then let us move 5x plus 7 to the side of 2x squared plus 4. That is negative 5x minus 7 equals 0. And then let us simplify. We have 2x squared minus 5x. Let us subtract 4 minus 7, that is negative 3, equals 0. And then let us find the factors of 2x squared minus 5x minus 3, and that is 2x plus 1 and x minus 3. If you are going to multiply 2x plus 1 and x minus 3, you are going to have 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So let us equate this one to 0. So 2x plus 1 equal to 0 and x minus 3 equal to 0. So let us move 1 to the side of 0. It became 2x equals negative 1. And then let us divide both sides by 2. So the value of x will be negative 1 half. And then on this one, let's move negative 3 to the side of 0. So x will be 3. So therefore, the value of x will be negative 1 half and 3. And this will be the answer. On number 3, a number and its reciprocal have a sum of 58 over 21. Find the larger of these two numbers. So let us represent x as the number. And its reciprocal will be 1 over x. So to write the equation, we are going to have a number and the reciprocal. And the sum is 58 over 21. That is x plus 1 over x equals 58 over 21. And then to eliminate x and 21 as a denominator, let us multiply the whole equation by 21x because that will be the LCM of x and 21. 21x multiplied by x, that is 21x squared. And let us cancel x. And then 21 times 1, that is 21. And then let us cancel 21. 58 multiplied by x, that is 58x. And let us move 58x to the side of 21x squared plus 21. It will give us 21 x squared minus 
x plus 21 equals 0. And then, let us find the factors of 21x squared minus 58x plus 21, and that is 3x minus 7 and 7x minus 3. If you are going to multiply 3x minus 7 and 7x minus 3, you are going to have 21x squared minus 58x plus 21. So let us equate this one to 0. That is 3x minus 7 equals 0 and 7x minus 3 equals 0. Then let us simplify. Let us have 3x. Let us move negative 7 to the side of 0. It will give us 7 divided by 3. Let us cancel. x will be 7 over 3. And then on the other side, let us have 7x equals from negative. We move to 0. It became positive 3. Divide by 7. It will give us 3 over 7. Since in our problem, we are looking for the larger number. And the larger number will be 7 over 3. And this will be the answer. For number 4, solve for x in x raised to 4 over 2 plus 1 raised to 2 minus 2 multiplied by the quantity of x raised to 4 over 2 plus 1 minus 63 equal to 0. So to find the value of x, we are going to represent x as x raised to 4 over 2 plus 1. So if you have this equation, you are going to end up with x squared minus 2x minus 63 equals 0. And then let us factor this one. So the factors of x squared is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If you multiply, you can get negative 63. And if you add, you can get negative 2. And that is negative 9 and positive 7. Let us equate this one to 0. So let us have x minus 9 equal to 0, and then x plus 7 equal to 0. Since the value of x is x raised to 4 over 2 plus 1 minus 9 equal to 0, let us simplify this one. So we have x raised to 4 over 2, 1 minus 9, that is negative 8, and negative 8 moved to the side of 0, it will become and then, let's multiply 2 and 8, that is x raised to 4. And then, 2 times 8, that is 16. And then, let us get the fourth root of 16. The fourth root of 16, that is positive and negative 2. And then, on the other side, we have x, that is x raised to 4 over 2 plus 1 plus 7 equals 0. Let us add this one and move to the other side. x raised to 4 over 2. 1 plus 7, that is 8. Move to the other side, that is negative 8. And then, multiply 2 by negative 8, that is x raised to 4 equals negative 16. And then, get the fourth root of negative 16, and that is positive and negative 2i. So this one is an imaginary. Therefore, the value of x will be positive and negative 2. This one is not included because it's an imaginary number. On number 5, solve for x in the inequality 3x squared plus 20x minus 7 greater than or equal to 0. So to find the value of x, we are going to have 3x squared plus 20x minus 7 greater than or equal to 0. So let us find the factors of this expression. So let us have the factors that is 3x minus 1 and x plus 7. If you are going to multiply 3x minus 1 and x plus 7, you are going to have 3x squared plus 20x minus 7. So let us equate this one to 0. That is 3x minus 1 equal to 0. 
and x plus 7 equal to 0. So let us move negative 1 to the side of 0. It became 3x equals 1 divide by 3. So x is 1 third. And then x is negative 7. Now let us use a number line to check whether 1 third and negative 7 is part of the solution. So let us have a number line test. So this will be positive infinity and this will be negative infinity. So let us write first negative 7 followed by 1 third. Now, if you are going to substitute negative 7 on this equation, you will end up with true because negative 7 is part of the solution. It can be greater than or equal to 0. And if you are going to substitute 1 third on the same equation, you will end up with true because 1 third is also part of the solution. So we are going to have a shaded. And then, let us check which of this region is part of the solution. So let's say a number less than negative 7. So let's say the value of x is negative 10. Let's say 3 times negative 10 minus 1 multiplied by 10 plus 7 greater than or equal to 0. 3 times negative 10 minus 1, that is negative 29, multiply by negative 10 plus 7, that is negative 3, greater than or equal to 0. And negative 29 times negative 3, that is positive 87, greater than or equal to 0. So this is true. So therefore, this part of the solution is true. And then, what about on the middle? Let's say 0. 3 times 0 minus 1. Then 0 plus 7 greater than or equal to 0. 0 is between negative 7 and 1 third. So 0 times 3 minus 1, that is negative 1. And then times 7 greater than or equal to 0. And that is negative 7 greater than or equal to 0. So this will be false. So this part is not belong to the solution. And then, let us have a number greater than 1 third. Let's say 1. 3 times 1 minus 1 multiplied by 1 plus 7 greater than or equal to 0. 3 times 1, that is 3 minus 1, that is 2. Times 1 plus 7, that is 8. Greater than or equal to 0. And that is 16 greater than or equal to 0. So this would be true. So meaning to say, this part is belong to the solution. So if you are going to write your answer, since this will be the direction, x will be less than or equal. We use less than or equal because 7 is belong to the solution. That is negative 7. Or x greater than or equal because 1 third is part of the solution. One third. So this will be the answer.